Hello everyone and welcome back to my Ick at Claw campaign for Total War Warhammer 2. It's been about a week since we last played. I've been uh, extremely busy in real life, plus that Steam Summer Sale though. I only picked up one game though. I only picked up one game this year that I really wanted. Uh, Dawn of Man. Pretty fun little uh, RTS survival city builder type game. Pretty cool game. I may uh, make a uh, series out of it here soon. Playing around with it. Also picked up Anno 1800 off the Uplay store for 20% uh, off, so I've been diving into that a little bit. That will also be another series coming up. So I've been a little preoccupied the past week with some other games, but I wanted to get back to a little Warhammer action this morning and get another episode out. So we're picking up where we left off last time. Let's. I actually don't remember exactly what was going on, so let's kind of look and see real quick. Okay, so that is the army that attacked Lucini. We took them out. Sneaky Skaven, Ikaclaw leveled up. That's right, that's right. We took Miragliano. We gained... Okay, we've gained a few uh, equipment. Let's see who can use that. Ikit's got the War Banner and a Man-Thing Slave. Bell Quint has a mechanic, Bell Polisher, Messenger. Okay. Warpstone tokens. We're going to hold on to that. We'll probably give that to somebody else later on. Okay. Last thing I want to do real quick is check our slaves, where all our slaves are going. Uh, we're gonna, not going to send any slaves to the vaults. The reason for that is... Um, for some reason, Karak Izor, or Izor, however you say that, Karak Izor, Karakazor, yeah. Uh, anyways, that place, for some reason, it does not have access to the uh, new buildings that are available with Ultimate Skaven mod. I don't know why. So, we're not going to send any slaves there, because I can't do the slave building. Uh, Sartosa will... Yeah, Sertosa will get some. That'll be a good money-making settlement later on. And then Astalia and Tilia. Okay, so we're good on slaves. Is there anybody we need to move? Who do we have on, on the campaign map here? Okay, we've got him coming this way. I believe I wanted to meet Clan Moors, which I already did. We're going to bring him over a little bit, though, as I want to see what's going on. And we got Warp Tech Snarl. Who I believe was going to go to Lothurn. Yeah, he was going to go over to Lothurn. Okay, uh, upgrades we can be doing. We've got about 8k. Bad idea. Let's see what's going to be a good upgrade here. Let's grab, let's just go ahead and upgrade these two things. Get them upgraded. Yeah, that'll be good. We do have four warp fuel. So let's grab ourselves Good another play, doom rocket. All right, let's cross our fingers. Please give me two, please give it two. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We got two. Science, sorcery. All right, Ikka Claw's army, all good. All right, all right, let's intern this. Now that I remember what the heck I was doing last week. Get a little uh, sidetracked with other games. Forget what you're doing in some. Let's see, Total War news lately. Not a lot been going on with Warhammer 2 in terms of news. Uh, Grace CA on the Reddit forums mentioned something about a... Uh, we'll probably have information on the next Lord pack coming out at the end of this month, so I'm not even going to try to speculate. There's, there's videos of people speculating what's coming out, and honestly, we don't know. There was all sorts of speculation about stuff for this game and I mean the Lord packs and everything else and pretty much everyone was wrong everyone thought Thanquil was going to be the new Skaven Lord and it was Ikit Claw no one saw that really coming I think maybe one person might have but for the most part you know there's speculating on who's coming out with a Lord pack is ridiculous because we have zero idea Okay, what do what we got going here? For a thousand gold, we can get plus ten food. Um, 
I'm going to decline that offer for right now. We're, we're going to be okay on food, and I would rather use that money on upgrades. Okay, Magritta, we've got our upgraded walls. I typically don't get the rank 5 walls in my settlements unless I just have plenty of extra money. Because as you can see here, um, this might be a... I can't remember vanilla anymore if this was what it was like. But the only difference between back tunnels and the uh, chained sentry beasts is instead of a play claw catapult, you get a warp lightning cannon. That That's it. That's the only difference. And warp lightning cannons have a low firing arc and typically can't shoot over the walls out into the uh, oncoming uh, attackers in a siege. So I find the play claw catapult actually better. I, I would actually prefer if this garrison, instead of a warp lightning cannon, gave you, say, two. Take away a rat ogre and give me two play claws. Something like that. So that's just a, a preference thing there. All right, Miragliano. Let's, uh, bye-bye. Grab a little extra replenishment. Tilia has been destroyed. Yes, yes. Did we already have a war banner? Like, for real, though. Um, I'm not supposed to be able to have two war banners. Uh, that I'm aware of. I didn't think you could have two. I don't know what's going on there. I'm not going to... Whatever. I'll, I'll deal with that later. Alright, let's upgrade Bailiquent. I'm not going to give him a Doom Flare. Um, because he is going to be stand, mostly standing back around the Siege Artillery. Giving them... And then later on up into the gun line. So I don't Simon want him on a Doom Flare. We're just, we are going to give him extra powder though. Uh, right. Yeah, do I want any of these right now? Not particularly. At the moment, we don't. Trare. Let's just keep on wandering our way this way. Warp attack. Let's see if we can't get into Lothran. We might have to wait till the next turn. Uh, no, it worked. Okay, cool. Under Empire established in Lothran. So, we have our Warlock Laboratory, which gives us plus 50 experience per turn for Warlock Engineers. That Those do stack, so multiple Warlock Laboratories will give you multiple. Sorry, I keep hitting my mic because I have an itch on my cheek. The itchy beard problems at the moment. Keep hitting my mic. Uh, um, plus 50 experience per turn for Engineers and plus 10 research rate. Again, that stacks. So, our next thing I want to get here is a uh, Subterranean Pit. That is going to put us at plus 40. Grab ourselves a Thieves' Hidey Hold. Lothurn is an exceptional place to get that at. Um, and then we're going to get uh, the Deeper Tunnels. We'll lose Line of Sight. I don't care about that. And we're going to lose... Uh, we will basically negate this. I usually only upgrade this building right here. The, uh, the Hidey Hold one up. I usually only go there. I might... Do that one later on. Once Lothurn has spread to, uh, let's see, it's going to be probably like these, these four, five settlements right here that Lothurn can spread to. I'll remove the subterranean pit and build the, uh, what's it called, the murder holes right here. I'll build that there and then upgrade this to level five. Uh, if you notice right here, Ultimate Skaven adds another small propaganda network discoverability thing whatever you want to call them what are these technically called concealments concealment buildings however i don't i don't use it i don't really even understand the point of it he the guy who makes them all talks about how much he uses them and i haven't understood the point I mean, it's only minus 10 discoverability at a cost of 150 and it lowers the public order penalty. So it actually will lower it for them. But for what? 50 more gold you get an extra 30. I don't I don't understand the point of this at all. So I don't build it. But I will be building that. Okay. Um, 
Let's think real quick what my uh, objective today is going to be. What what do I want to do today? We need to do something. I'm thinking. I'm thinking I want to make sure they're happy with me. Yeah, they're they're getting mad again. So. It is done. I, I want to try to keep her kind of happy with me. I don't want to deal with them at the moment. I want to come up here and probably deal with... I want to deal with them. That's who I'm dealing with. Today's objective... We're going to go up here. Into the vaults. Take care of Buftar. Take care of Geysor. Yeah. Which means I'm going to want a slightly better army. Yeah, I want to get rid of these Skaven slaves and pick up some slightly better troops. So let's let's hop over here. This is gonna be fine. I, I'm like I'm like the uh, this is gonna be fine, dog. This this is gonna be fine. So yeah, come over there, change out a few troops. Again, we're not gonna do anything too elite. Uh, I like. I like the horde style play or the horde unit style play for Skaven. So I'm going to have mostly a lot of clan rats. I'll have a few. I'll put a few storm vermin in there for uh, kicks, but for the most part, it's going to be it's clan rats probably. I think can't I get my? Oh gosh, I don't even remember what that army has now. I, I just looked at it. I need to get some more gun lines in there to go up against the dwarves because they have such high armor i need that ap from the gun lines to deal with them okay they're attacking skaven blight what we got coming at us here now this is the only problem with skaven blight you don't get access to the warp bomb ability here because you can't build a garrison building. I think that the Skaven Blight settlement itself should have warp bomb on it. Mental note, I need to write that somewhere. I need to add that in to the to my uh I have a mod that is kind of a compilation mod where I combined several smaller mods together just to decrease my mod count. I think Skaven Blight should have the warp bomb ability. Let me know what you think about that. But I think it should. So anyways, we've got a bunch of storm vermin with shields, a couple of clan rats, a whole bunch of slingers, two uh, globadiers, two rat ogres, a doom wheel, uh, lots of catapults, up against a uh, another warlock engineer. Oh, actually, no, what is he? He's a warlock engineer. He's a warlock engineer. That's weird. Why isn't mine anti-infantry and armor piercing? Well, no, he is. No, he's better. I'm confused. I think it's because he's a lord. Duh. He's a... Yeah, he's, he's, it's because he's a warlock master. I'm an idiot. Anyways, whole bunch of clan rats. Bunch of random clan rats. Night runners. But the rat ogres are somewhat the more troublesome unit, but yeah. All right. Quick save, just in case we get a crash, and let's go in and save Skaven Blight from this uh, rebellious pack of rats. Yes, yes, yes. Good little battle to start things off. It's the 4th of July here in America. Happy 4th of July, America. I am spending the day here inside. It is about 5,000 degrees outside at the moment here in Tennessee, where I live, and I have no interest whatsoever in going outdoors today. So I'm going to be right here in the air conditioning with my cat and the computer and the AC going. All right. We're going to just stick with that. I don't feel like gambling it. Pull everybody off the walls. Let's start. Uh, let's see where they're going to be going. We've got a couple of towers here couple of towers over here now I have defended Skaven Blights many times in the past that I know exactly what's going these two are obviously coming here he's obviously going there these two right here they're gonna basically go one there and one here so and it looks like most of their like 
yeah, most of their troops are there, so we're going to put him there so we could do some warp lightning right there on them. Ready, ready. Is that, yeah, it's going to, okay. Ready, ready. Storm vermin are going to be able to hold out really easy against these guys, so we don't need too awful, too awful much. They might send some people right here, so we're going to... They'll probably try to send something right here to climb up these walls, so we're going to put a couple guys Storm right there. Yes, yes. In terms of rat ogres, the rat ogres are most likely going to charge right down to here. What, what orders? But just in case, actually they might send one here, so let's... Spears. Let's do this for the moment. That way, if they do go... If he does send anybody over to this wall, I can scoot around. Okay, we're back up Storm Vermin here. Back up Storm Vermin right here. Uh, you'll go in the middle, kind of support all over the place. Slingers, 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 slingers. Storm Vermin! I want some slingers here uh, yes, on yes. top of this wall would be fantastic. Up on top of that wall would be fantastic. What, what and right there would be fantastic. Thank you so much. Doom wheel. Doom wheel. Again, we're going to kind of put you in the middle to move around as needed. Same with the rat ogres. Excuse me, one second, I have got to, it's one of those sneezes that's like, I can feel it right there. I gotta turn my mic off. Okay, I am not a quiet sneezer. That would have been god-awful loud for all of you if I had left my mic on. This is the uh, Masterful Plate Claw Catapult Battery. You can see how utterly ridiculous it is. It's going to be disgusting. So, we'll have him there, and we're gonna stick one right there. Yeah, one right there to kind of deal with them. What have we got left? Uh, oh, that's right, the Globadiers. Okay. Let's put one here. Let's put a set of Globadiers there. And... Hmm. Where's my other thing of Globadiers going to go? Where would I like them? Let's put them here. They can fire sideways down. That would be awesome. Okay, let's get this battle started. Capture these towers here. Yeah, it's fine. Go for those clan rats. No okay, now we're going to attack the towers. Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool. Try to get these towers down. Uh, we might actually tell him to focus that one. Oh, good lord, have mercy. He just got destroyed. Holy crap. Okay, there went one. Let's try to take out another. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Attack these siege towers for the moment, please. Thank you. Keep wrecking them. Oh, these guys are going to get absolutely annihilated. I love it. Okay, siege towers are down. Uh, focus on the night runners, please. Keep doing that. Here comes our Globadiers. Those rat ogres aren't going to last very long. Yeah, you focus on that group. Uh, that thing's gonna get away. That's fine. Night runners, take them out. And everything else is mostly just going to stand there because the AI is completely retarded. You know what? Let's have some fun. Hello, I'm coming in to wreck faces. Take out these night runners. Oh, of course. Oh, speaking of which, I have my own. Uh, what can we get that? 
Oh, perfect. Thank you so much for that. Awesome. Everybody attacking the right stuff here? Yeah, everybody's, everybody's attacking the right things. Oh, somebody else picked that up, it looks like. What are you attacking? No, do that. No. Stop that. Attack that. There. Jeez. My gates are destroyed. Really where? Oh, right there. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Send in the rat ogres. I don't even care. Send in these storm vermin to back them up. Yeah, we'll send in the doom wheel just for kicks. Why not? This army's gonna get absolutely wrecked. Yeah, let's tie up their uh, warlock engineer here. Or their warlock master, whatever he's called. Okay, is anything gonna come in those gates? Does not look like it. We'll pull him over. Yeah, there they go. They're getting wrecked. Let's, uh, let's try to take out some of these clan rats. Nope, wrong button. Fast forward, thank you. Do a little damage to him. We'll pretty much wreck that that unit. You should not be moving. You should be standing still. All right. I'll just kind of we'll just let them do as much damage as they can, basically. Yeah, it's good enough. The Warlock Master is going to get away, but so we pretty much wrecked their army. Toxer got away himself, but they should be back, I think, on the next round, and I'll finish them off. Look at that. 294 kills on that Play Cloud battery. That is, that is just disgusting. Um, I would like, yeah, I would like food, please. The money would be nice. Uh, money or food? Actually, let's go for money. Screw that. Take a little extra gold here. Oh, nice, yes. Natty Bobos. Yes. All right. Uh, Ikit has leveled up again. We've got two points to spend. What was I working on? Oh God, what was I working on? Um, I kind of want to go down his blue line at the moment. Or do I want to go up here into this line? I could grab uh, power overload and warp. Yeah, I need to grab that. Or do I want that? Maybe not. No, I need to do the blue line. Uh, let's grab that and draft master. I want to get over towards uh, quartermaster and lightning strike. Okay, right here. We've got 11,000. Okay, this is a great time to pop this because we're about to do some recruiting. Chief Warlock, I'm gonna get rid of those two fellas. Bring in Natty Boobos. Get rid of y'all, and we're gonna bring in a couple of these guys. Yeah, a couple of those. Um, and then, what else do I want? I think I want to get rid of you two. I think I'm gonna get rid of one of the uh, plate claws. Warp power! Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's what I want. 
Okay, so there's those clan rats with shields. Although, you know... Melee defense of 31. Oh. Wrong ones. Okay, 21. 33. 37. And they're shielded. And I've already... Well, those are sword infantry. I do... I have one halberd infantry. Hmm. They are armor-piercing, though. I will have a bunch of armor-piercing with them, though. I don't know what I want more. Well, these are going to be my front lines. This is going to be my little front line right here. I, I have a thing about even numbers, though. It needs to be even. I don't know why, but I have to have e at least even numbers on my front line. These for anti-large. That leaves me three slots left. I definitely want another Doom Flare. That'll leave me two spots left for two more Rattling Guns. I, I like more Rattling Guns, though. I'm a big, big fan of Rattling Guns. Five rattling guns would be better. That would annihilate stuff. That's going to leave me light on the infantry. I don't want to go down less than three plate claws. You know, let's just do that for the moment. We'll see how it works. I'm going to... Actually, I need to check. Do I have it? Yeah, I did. I do have it upgraded. Okay, good. So I come up here and I can get... Where are my schematics? <sighs> Jeez, I just don't know what I want to do. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out in a couple of turns. Let's see. What, what do we want to do here? Let's get you upgraded. We're not upgrading that. We're, we're, we're ignoring that upgrade because that thing's going to go away once he hits rank 5, which is in two turns. So we need to start saving up some money. These last three slots, we're going to do the feasting hall and then, of course, our two landmark buildings. Or oh, actually, the feasting hall will go there. So we do have an extra slot. What do I want? Do I want to go ahead and get this in over here? I'm thinking possibly big fat yes. That's not bad. That's, that, that would not be. That would be okay. That'd be some extra food. We're gonna have a ton of public order here. Yeah, let's do that knows who his boss uh, is. Who leveled up? Trare? Okay, so we tell you to steal technology. Go Bring for it, it, buddy. Yes, success. Got a point. No malice detected. Specialist. We keep heading that way. These hidey holes is done. Can't upgrade it yet. But it's fine. So now we are getting uh, 887 from our under empire. Awesome. Anybody I can trade with? Speak. Hey, Malekith. No, you still don't want to trade, do you? What? And the Heimlings, sometimes they'll up? trade, but not today. Dreadlord, I barely tolerate your verminous presence, so be quick with your words. Mm, no, because he's at war with Clan Rictus, so I don't want to do that just Stay yet. Kimri, we're not worrying about. So who no are we trading with? Argoneth and that's about it. Okay. That's all we're trading with. Got a couple of islands. That's what I wanted to do this episode. I should watch my old episodes before I start trying to figure out what to do. We were going to go take Ikid out and go do a little uh, omen. little sea journey here, weren't we? Yes, yes we were. Uh, first... Okay, yeah, Miragliano is going to get a 20 stack because it's a, it's a, I wouldn't say it's a unique settlement, but it is a larger settlement. So it's going to be fine on the troops, on the garrison there. So we'll grab this stuff here. I believe that is everything I wanted to do. 
Yeah, we'll get it get re-kitted out, and then we're gonna go grab. There's a Skull Island there. There's a Remnants of Battle right there. There's another Skull Island there. And there is a mysterious island there. Okay, today's, that is today's objective. We're going to go grab some islands and go rack up some money. Each of those skull islands gives 20,000. So that is going to uh, help us boost and get Skaven Blight built really quick. And get all of our landmarks and be done with building in Skaven Blight. Still only running one army at the moment. Uh, not bad. Only need one army. I'm kind of keeping everybody paid off around me, basically. Giving them some bribes to leave me alone. So I can build up very scaveny of me. Trying to maintain a low profile while I build up my forces. And then unleash the Vermintide. At least try to get two Skull Reefs in today. Let's see. Okay, yeah, they're going to come back up. We're going to auto-resolve them. Auto-resolve your faces off. Goodbye. Yeah, take, take that little bit of money again. Alright, Maragliano. Let's see. He is recruiting his clan rats. No, no. And we still got four turns on that. Good deal. Sartosa. 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 Um, okay. Let's see. What new buildings can we get? Let's get that. Fruit draft compressors. Squashing sour fruits creates an intoxicating drink better than Skaven Brew. Yes, yes. I, I never even noticed that that had special text for the Skaven. That is awesome. I, I gotta love it. Okay, we're going to grab that. We're going to go ahead and grab this. Get some public order because their public order is pretty crap. I'm probably going to have to pull, uh, pull somebody back down there. Hmm. Didn't realize that. What kind of garrison do we have here? Not. we got some halberds, clan rats, spears and shields, gutter runners, a poison wind, and two of those. If we upgrade to this, we'll get... We'll go from... Four, six, seven, two, two, three, four, eight. But we'll get two gunner runners, two pl Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. Four turns. That'll be enough time. That'll get us up to 15 stack. They'll have to lay siege. Exo so ready. We'll have about three turns, and then we can pull down. Okay, so... That's a lot of mumbling, I know. So what my plan is, we'll have a rebellion in What's three turns. This will be done in four turns. So they won't have attacked yet. One more turn, these two will be done. We'll pull up here to Skaven Blight. We're going to grab uh, three Rattling Gun teams. That will take two turns. So that's in three turns. So again... Rebellion in three turns. And then we'll force march down here and take out that rebellion. And then uh, swing back up and grab ourselves a Skull Reef. There's our there's our plan for the day. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay, hello. There's Queek. Hello, Queek. Got a what fire thrower here. You've got Katar. You got Mount Arachnos, you got the Lost Plateau. You did not take Karak Zorn though. And at least you have that hole. Half the time he doesn't even hold on to all that. Alright. That'll do. Next. I'm thinking I might go down to uh Kimri. To the Tomb Kings. Try to keep the north somewhat pacified towards me. And Kimri is actually kind of a beast for the Skaven to deal with if they get too powerful. Um, since all of their units cause fear and a lot of and the constructs can cause terror, 
that causes a lot of problems for the Skaven. Um, so I'm thinking I might want to go down there and help Queek take out Cetra early on. Go ahead and secure all of this down. That's, that's some pretty valuable territory down there. And it's pretty safe, especially these like w these inner areas. Everything up here. Uh, oh, one second. Let's see what we got. Yeah, cool, cool. We're doing martial arts. All right. Anyways, a lot of these territories down here, they are they're very insulated. They're very safe back in here. Everything we take up here, if we took Myrmidons, we have to worry about attacks from. The dwarves, if they come to, well, when they come to war with us, you know, other humans from up here, the dwarves from over here. If we took in these two settlements, we've got to worry about Bretonia still, wood elves, humans, dwarves, more humans from over here. If we took Bilbali, we've got to worry about Bretonia, high elves. It's just, it's such a mess right in this area. I'd rather go to the south and go deal with, take them. Take them on. Engineer of okay, let's grab ourselves. I really, I, I really wish warp fire throwers were a better unit. I like them well enough, but they have such a short range that I just, I can't hardly ever. And there's only their small model count. I just usually can't justify using them. At least not in this army. I might use them in another army. In this army, we're going gun line here. Okay. Grab that. That has been upgraded more. Good deal. Population surplus. Scaven blight. Yes, yes, yes. No, oh, there goes most of our money. Uh, we can upgrade that now. It's going to cost us the same. Just lose one more public order. We'll get one more food. It's a small amount of food, but, you know... Food. Need, need food. Magritta. Okay, Den of Secrets. We'll be getting ourselves a uh, an assassin after we research exotic martial arts. That way, I believe they'll start at plus seven. So we will be doing that. Okay, Traer. Let's, uh, let's go start scouting out Cetra's. Area. Before I come down and deal with Cetra, I do want to get at least two assassins, because that, that will use them to come down here ahead of my armies and, you know, assault garrisons, attack armies and assault units, try to thin out the Tomb King's forces before I go in and attack them. So, that that's the plan, man. Okay. Two more turns and we'll get... A move on here. We'll be kind of flying through these interns for a few minutes. <sighs> Who is that? Is that Numas? Somebody took. Oh no, that's Sudenberg. Sudenberg. I saw that red right there. It's not. It's not them. Oh no. Maybe it is them. That's very odd. Maybe uh, Queek did go there and there and take that. Usually Queek's getting his butt stomped by Cetra. But we'll go down there and we'll help him out. I usually get pretty friendly with the orcs, so as long as the orcs can hold off against the dwarves, then they'll form a nice buffer between us. All right, Subterranean Pit is done. All right. Uh, who wants? Who do I want to upgrade first? I'm, I'm betrayal strong. That'll take three turns. I don't really need mu any more wine at the second. No. Let's go ahead and get Miragliano upgraded. What your bat tail? Upgrade that. Upgrade that. And upgrade that. Okay. So we're going to go up to the uh, slave pits. That will increase us to uh, five income extra per 100 slaves in the province, plus five income from slaves, minus 10% slave decline rate, and a minus 10% slave public order penalty, which is lovely. And then we're going to upgrade our fetid grain marshes to get us some more food and growth.
here. All right, let's uh, scroll on over here. Warlock engineer. Okay, yeah, Springs of Eternal Life got taken by Queek. Cool. Or contract approved. Vomeek. He's a. Oh, he's one of the new lords that's included with Ultimate Skaven. Uh, Ultimate Skaven has a new lord type called the Master Assassins. They're. Uh, I like making a very Eshin themed heavy army with them and use them to just go around raid mostly raid ambush just harass they they usually don't take cities because i don't usually don't put much if any siege equipment in it maybe maybe a, a warp lightning cannon or something but i typically don't do a whole lot of uh city taking with them they're just mostly just to harass and be very annoying all right last in turn for uh Picket to get his gun line, and then we're gonna head south and go help out Sartosa against that rebellion, and then we'll turn up and we'll go take a Skull Island. Probably just get one this episode. We're already at uh, 40 minutes here. I don't want another hour and a half long episode. That was a long first episode, but I just I just couldn't find a good place to stop. And depending on what kind of army spawns down there, it might be an auto resolve. It might have to be one I fight out to minimize losses. We shall see. Oh, that's right. I forgot I'm at war with these people down here. That the people that do absolutely jack all. All right, let's get you. Of course, it's experiencing a storm. Fine. Fine. Be that way then. All right, Bail Quint upgraded. Or leveled Needs up, I'd rather. Prove his worth. What's he going to get next? Um, let's go for Triangulation. That will increase our missile damage for uh, missile units and artillery. Skaven Blights generators. That have upgraded. So let's go ahead and get an upgrade going right there. Borrow, same thing, we'll upgrade those. Sartosa will hold off on. There's Black Buckthorn. And Trer. Oh, they've been doing pretty good. They even took Bagar. Nice. Oh, wow. Cetra took the Black Pyramid already. Dang. This is under siege by somebody. What's he at war with? It's probably either the Rakoff dynasty or followers of Nagash. That would be my guess. Okay. Let's check our trade, see if the uh, the Dark Elves are any more. Ah, come on! Come on! He's still mad that I set up. He's still mad about my hero actions. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Interesting. Sartosa hasn't had the rebellion yet. Did it not? Is it not going to happen? No, it's dropped down to that. Oh, that's right. I have an event going on. I still want it to happen just because it's so high already. I'd rather have a rebellion and have it kind of fix itself with a rebellion and I can farm it f and I can get some food off of them and maybe maybe another warp stone warp fuel whatever it's called I need to check my objectives too see how I'm doing on those I try to do all of the bonus objectives just because it is a nice influx of cash don't do come on come on come on Rebellion imminent, yes. Grist for the mill, oh nice. Construction cost, minus 15 for four turns. Awesome. Uh, border princes are at war with everybody. No shock no, there. No, no! <laughs> Alright, Miragliano, give me that. You're fine there. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead. No, I'm gonna wait. Just I'll hold on to that little that that one food until it's time to demolish it here a little while. Warlock ready. I'm gonna pull him up here. Land of the dead. King Miship. Miship. Okay. Zarexil. You Mass want something. Out. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give you that. Then I'll give me another recruitment center on this side of the map. Okay. Three turns, so uh, keep an eye on that, because once it's once it goes down to one turn and we're one turn away, then I'll demolish this. That way I can build some new stuff. Okay, now they're going to now they're going to rebel. Good deal. Uh, we will go ahead and upgrade. Get that started on an upgrade. It should be done by the time. It shouldn't be a waste of money. Okay, we got a Skaven Blight. Yep, yeah, Skaven Blight. We got a Skaven Rebellion. That's the word I'm looking for. Words fail me. I've been up. Been up since very, very early this morning. A certain kitten who was uh, right here decided that getting up early was a good idea on a holiday. Yeah, sit there and bite your toenails and stare at me. Why don't you do that? She bites her toenails. She's an odd cat. All right, let's see what happens. Probably a whole lot of nothing. Oh, oh God, what do you want? Oh, no, you want a trade agreement. Good. Um, yes, please. Yeah, I'll take that. Three hundred gold for it? Sure. Good. Get a little trade. They're usually a good trade partner for a while. Chop, chop off with their tails. Chop, chop off with their tails. Yes, indeed. The okay. Council is, is disappointed. We're just going to hold them right there for the time being until that rebellion uh, picks up speed. Go ahead and upgrade that. Two turns. I'm, on, uh, I'm not going to upgrade any of this. I, I will upgrade that, but just because it's cheap. But I'm going to hold on to the rest of my money just so I can have something for up there. Uh, that's Trayer. Give you Specialist. Uh, we're gonna head towards Kemri. My dynasty reigns supreme. Okay, he's good uh, down there. Just kind of, just kind of taking a look, seeing what's happening. Mm. All what all is going on? Well. <laughs> what can we do? I eh, don't really want to do that just yet. I don't have any that that one I really like to pop when I have lords and I have assassins on the map. Um, I don't have either of those at the moment, so I'm not going to pop the uh, the thirteenth scheme one right now. I'll wait until I have some other agents going and possibly a lord. We'll probably get another lord once Skaven Blight is fully built up. Oh, here comes Orion. Hello. Yeah. Oh wait, he wants a peace treaty. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Get the wood elves off my back for a little while. Once I once Skaven Blight is built up and I'm done spending money on Skaven Blight because it's going to be the most expensive to upgrade, then I will probably get another army to get ready to come down to the Tomb Kings and take them out. All right, there's there's that. Oh, I do want to exploit criminals because it will make them cheaper. Yeah, I might as well just wait again. I'll just wait. Okay, there's one turn. Let's go ahead and get that destroyed, so I can replace it pretty quick. Science. And it's good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. This will give me give me some ambush. Okay, well we have another. We have another one. We don't want to give this to. Um, hmm. 
do I want to give that to? Yeah, well, let's give it to my Doom Flayer. This arms race, no contest. Right. Yeah, nice little auto resolve. Get another warp fuel. Spell shield. Nice. Where are my schematics? We'll stick you in there for a turn. Just Storm to... Demon. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna just go like out there. Engineer. We're fine. You'll heal up. All right, Ikit has upgraded. I keep saying upgraded. He's leveled up. Good, good God. Start getting quartermaster. Make his army a bit cheaper. Ikit Claw has no equal. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Anything else I can give you? No, 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 and no. Okay. Kill contraptions. What I really hope is gentlemen, gentlemen Jenkins can Jinka, sometimes be Jinka. a little turd and come over there and attack you, but it doesn't look like. Well, he might be able to get to me. Really hope he can. Of uh, Maragliano, or Magrida, I mean. I'm not going to take that just yet. I want to save some money so I can get some upgrades no, for Skaven sir. Blight going. Not, not, not welcome. Uh, Trayer. Now, now. Fear and steal me some now, tech from Kimri, please. You failed. You're terrible. You're absolutely terrible. I want to go get that skull reef before I end this episode. And hope that these pirates out here don't. Oh, excuse me. Hope these pirates out here do not come looking for me. Really don't want them to come out here and mess with me right now. Not in the mood at all. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, he didn't come up there for me. Good. The sword of Cain has been slain, has been captured. Let's go ahead this Ikit way. Sails. Yeah, we'll go that way. Ikit sails. All right, next turn, we can finally go and get that. Bale Quint has no leveled up to two, two. So we're going to grab this. There'll be a 12% missile damage for artillery units and missile infantry. That is nice. And Skaven Blight is fully upgraded now. Okay, let's see. What uh, bonuses do we have? Anything good? No. Darn. All right, well, let's definitely get our feasting hall. Or, you know what, hold on. I think I have enough to get both of those. Ooh, I do, I do. And I have enough to get the feasting hall. Sweet. Alright, there's all three. Awesome. So, Shattered Tower. Amazing. Council, the Council Chamber of the Thirteen. Also amazing. Very nice. And the feasting hall. Six food, minus six public order, which is whatever. Uh, 10% slave decline rate, that's fine. And plus one escape and corruption and a little casualty replenishment. Alright. Nice. Got all those upgrades happening. Uh, Maragliano. What are you going to get? What do you want? I'm thinking I'm going to do... This... Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna do this thing uh, for the start for like your hell pits and stuff, and probably also grab the um, the plague building right here. I'm gonna grab those two, and my last slot will probably be dedicated to another feasting hall. Yeah, that, that'll do. Trayer. Um, let's go over here. What we got? Move chaos. Where's Clan Eshin? Uh, let's check everything here. 
to what way? Clan Morse. And I will give you many secrets, yes? Yes? Go, go. Right, thank you. Non aggression for 300. I'll take that. Uh, okay, yes, Nagron is finally happy. I thank you. Jeez. Nice. 322 from them. That is awesome. More money. All right. Oh, excuse me. I can't. I'll quit yawning this morning. I'm gonna have to have more, even more coffee. Although I don't even know why coffee doesn't wake me up. I drink so much coffee that caffeine does absolutely nothing for me anymore. I think it's just the mental thing of having coffee makes me feel like I'm awake, even though I'm not. Ugh. Gotta have the coffee though. So I'll be making myself another nice large cup of coffee after I get done with this. Probably go sit down and play one of my other new games. Try to be a little more consistent with getting starting with this uh, see, with this ep series, the the series right here. Try to get an episode out every few days. All right, Skaven Blight. We're gonna just kind of focus on the upgrading Skaven Blight at the moment. That's where I want my focus to be. Okay, upgrade this. This is going to change this to 10 extra income per 100 slaves. Uh, let's see, uh, plus 10% income now, minus 25% slave decline rate, and a minus 15% public order penalty. And two skating slaves, which, whatever, that doesn't matter. So we are going to go ahead and upgrade that. We're going to go ahead and get that upgraded for more money. I'm not worried about this just yet. I'll get that like soon, and that we'll we'll get that you know soon. And same with that. That is that is, that is like a low priority. That is literally one extra food. Okay, right, Trayer, come over here. See if we can't steal I some tech. The walls. Yeah. Knows who his boss is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, another steel tech, another specialist. Awesome. Alright, finally. Let's get over here and. Pirate coves are some of the world's most elusive places where the wealth of local sea brigands is secretly kept and fiercely defended. It seems that today may be your lucky day, as your lookout in the crow's nest claims to have spotted one. A small island cave, next to which a black ship is moored. The ship belongs to an infamous, infamous fleet of vampire pirates, and it appears that there are zombie deckhands transferring treasure chests onto the ship right now. It's an opportunity for a big payday, but these unliving sea dogs certainly won't give their wealth too easily. Raid the cove. Well, that's just a joke. You know what? We're going on right at an hour. I'm going to save it here. And I'll fight this battle at the beginning of the next episode, actually. That's what I will do. This will be a good start to the next episode. And this will keep this episode from dragging on for too long. Uh, I am going to fight this, even Serve though it's pretty much a, to your master. a wipe. I'm going to fight it. It'll be kind of fun to watch. But I will do that at the beginning of the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Take care.